What's up, my boing? From that city with juice, ain't no pity or truces. When we dip in gun smoke's conclusive. Don't act clueless, hella foolish in the 90s. And GP shotgun, when we ride. Solid on the yard, name hard on these streets. Did my crimes, catch your rhymes on dope beats. Still fuck laws, ain't no pause in our demeanor. Rest in peace, Muggsy and my road dog creeper. Ways to put it down, no fear of new cases. Years ago, though, it was guns and chases. 714 on my shoulders, kept it active. Roll like soldiers, G code ain't passive. Still Mac and Ratchet, still packed at the waist. Still stacking racks, still flash with the hate. Now it's podcasts and videos with pretty hoes. Me and George banging orange till the city's known really though. OG Wayne. We keep it moving smooth like every day. In this industry, What's up, my boy? George Perez right here of George Perez Stories, episode 352. George Perez Stories is brought to you by JB and Sons Tree Service Landscape and Installation. Look, guys, if you want your lawn to look greener than the lawns Tiger Woods used to play golf on, hit up my boys at JB and Sons Tree Service Landscape and Installation. They specialize in tree removal, stump removal, irrigation, landscaping, anything to do with lawns. They're all citizens, so if the immigration comes, guys, the job is not going to stop. JB and Sons, tree service, landscape, and installation. Follow them on Instagram or follow them at J-M-B-A-R-R-I-O-S-12. Yo, it's episode 352. Sorry we didn't do an episode last week. Um... We were tired. And plus, I don't know if you guys know this, but Xavier's raffling off his car, guys. And he's doing it cool. Like, a lot of people, when they raffle the car, like, they won't clean it. Like, he's cleaning it for you guys, (laughs) tightening up. Like, he's making it good. X to the G, what it be? What's up, dog? Yeah, I'm raffling my car off 280,000 miles. I just passed the smog. You're going to get it brand new. (laughs) Hey, dog. It's ready to go. It's ready to go. It passed smog already? Yeah, dog. Literally, I paid them for them yesterday. They're ready to go. Oh, wow. Wow. For 30 bucks. You're going to be able to buy a ticket for 30 bucks at the West Covina shows, all of them. And then we're going to raffle it off here on Monday. George is going to get the title, so he knows I ain't scamming no one. So oh, I ain't involved in this. Huh? <laughs> no, but you know, you're, you're going to pick it from like you're going to pick it out on Monday. You know what I mean? I say we have a uh, the guest on Monday pick it out. There we go. Perfect. I'm cool with that. Or three plates, dog. Yeah, three plates. We'll that means you can't off. buy we'll no s- tickets, dog. We'll spin the little fucking thing. That's what's up. Yo, everybody, the Quaker. Whoop. And right now, he looks like he needs a sports bra. Give it up <laughs> for three plays. <laughs> Put it on him, dog. Let me oh. see, dog. Let me see him. Make a move, dog. You want to see the cat dance? <laughs> oh, come on, dog. Oh, I can. 
Um, damn, look at that. All oh, you just see is fucking uh, George's neck moving. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I can make my teeth disappear. That's how strong I am. <laughs> your face, hey. though, when you were looking at your titties, all concentrating, all hard. I know. <laughs> also in the building, guys, one of our guests who's going to be joining us a lot, one of the OGs. What up? Uh, before GPS, he's back. Yo, Vegas. We bought him back, homie. You know what I'm saying? Hey, the, when the Raiders went to Vegas, I'm like, oh, I'm bringing Edwin back then. Eh? <laughs> trade. Yeah, that's trade a good trade. Up. That's a good that's trade. That's a good trade, dog. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he's silver and black, too. Give it up for Edwin San Juan. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm over here with my nipper rolls all hard. <laughs> all that flexing going on. You guys be working out and stuff. We try, dog. You know, um, like, you know what's a trip is when, when I used to work out, when I first did, I worked out for sports, dog. So it's like, a, you want that. But now I'm working out to like, like before I'd be like, I'm just going to do the tough shit. Now I'm like, all right, what's going to keep me alive and let me still be good at sex? Like no working need, out. Like, like no need to max out. Yeah, that yeah. is. Yeah. No, I mean, hey, I, I'll do it if like <laughs> side dicks, like because the other day we, we hey, if I'm lifting more than the side dick. Hey, right you're going to get big? I'm not yeah. trying to get big. I just want to get like. Like, when I take my shirt off, girls are like, hey. Like, when you got out of prison? What? Like, no, nah, I'm going to get bigger than that. Okay. Because yeah. you had no weights in prison, right? Yeah. Well, Mark, you know what? It's, it's push-ups. I'm older now, so it's going to be with my diet, dog. Like, the homeboy Triple OG, dog. I'm going to hit him up. I'm going to do a program, dog. Yeah? Yeah. But anyways, uh, speaking of high school shit, one of my favorite movies in high school was Boys in the Hood, dog. Oh, yeah. Classic. Right, and yeah. you got a Panoise, and a lot of people are, yes, have been sir. asking me, like, is that a movie Edwin's in? Like, <laughs> no, it's my new shirt design. I had a show back in the days, and I call, it was in Compton, and we called it Panoise in the Hood. Yeah, yeah, but then uh, where I got was these it shirts at? What out. club? It was at the Crystal Park Casino. We did two shows. It was on. We did, I did pay for radio advertisements on the beat. Damn, what year was this? Man, that was probably like two thousand, maybe two thousand three, two thousand four. What comedians were were out then that you were messing with? It was all it was all Filipino show because Pinoy's in the hood. Yeah, so I had Rex Navarrete <laughs> out there. Damn, Dan Gabriel, uh, like every Filipino comic you could think of. That's what's up. You know, even the ones that uh, still... Paul Ogata showed up darker. <laughs> what's up? Hey, shout out to Paul Ogata, dog. That's like one of the fools that like because hey Tommy, like back He's then, fool, yeah. I used to look way more crazy than I look now. Yeah. And that fool would be like, <laughs> yeah, dog, I was just younger, more we're like, what's up, active? Yeah. Ask Edwin, dog. Like, I'll be, I'll, I would try you know, to fight fans you know, after the show. What's up, then, homie? Fucking scary, bro. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, this fool, he would just cool. Hey, George, how you doing? Like, cool, like, new. I love the game, bro. I don't know anybody that has anything to say bad about Paul Ogata, right? Just that another Asian cool. comic that's not good. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that would talk shit, right? Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Haters, of course. Yeah. Tommy, you have a lot of haters right now because you're doing comedy, right? Hey, fool, you were on the road for the first time. On Explain the, it, dog. On the road. Oh, yeah. Thank you for fucking taking me on the road. Uh, uh, hold on. Before he goes. Bakersfield. Uh, you know what's crazy is Tommy was supposed to drive us to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> 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 and like uh, you know, when you get somebody to drive for you, like, all right, I'm gonna let the homie just like rest. This motherfucker drove so bad, like it didn't even last minutes. He just lasted two blocks. Yeah, under five minutes, definitely. Yeah, well, he was on his phone, right? Yeah, and then his phone, his screen is like his teeth. <laughs> like, That's hey, just homie, cracked. Yeah, <laughs> it's more than cracked, dog. It's like it looks like. The Gaza Strip right now, dog. <laughs> like so- that fool had, had phones in. There was no running water, no running electricity. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> oh, how did that phone work? It went from Gasho to Gaza. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what's up, three plates? How'd you feel, dog? No, it was cool though. Going uh, going out there, like the the whole trip, and then going up. It was cool, and then there was people from Rich Chris there. Dog, can I say something? He that's all. That's his whole explanation of everything that he dropped. Dr- missed. I'm disappointed in him. Why? Couldn't drive. Then we kind of got locked up by some fool. Oh, we remember? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got locked up. And you as the big guy, Sidek Eddie took, you took Sidek Eddie's spot. Sidek well, Eddie would have locked up. Hold on, hold on. Let, let me defend him. Let me defend him. We were just so, chilling. Yo. This fool's over here talking <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> I didn't know he was talking to us. Crazy, dude. Yeah. So I didn't know how we were describing. I don't know if this fool was talking to us. 
Yeah, so I was, check it out. Just screaming so shit. Check it out, guys. Uh, we pull up to Bakersfield. We're starving, eh? We go to Carl's Jr. and ordered sixty three dollars worth of food, eh? <laughs> right. I never ordered sixty three bucks worth of food from Carl's, eh? But fuck it. And uh, <laughs> you know, we're it, it it could happen to our last bite because <laughs> I. <laughs> I remember, like, we're eating and shit, chilling, smoking a, a frajo. Right in front of the hotel, right? Yeah, right in front of the hotel we're parked. And then you can hear somebody yelling at somebody. Yeah. And you don't know where it's coming from yeah. yet. And then you look, and it's this fucking tall, kind of stocky, fucking more than twacked out. White boy. Like, he's worked no, in the field. Like, like, he was like Mexican, Mexican He was Mexican, oh, though, oh. but, like, like a light he was dressed white. And right. like you could tell, homie, he was like he was just yelling. I thought he was, he was just yelling the dog. Shit. Like he was coming down from something hard. Like he wasn't a gangster dog. This fool was. He had his. Remember, he had his uh, his sleeves rolled up. That fool had some botas on. He he was dressed like an like a middle class Bakersfield paisa, like like a worker. Yeah, like he's worked at the fields before. Yeah, but he has fed you. He has yeah, 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 yeah. And you never know, dog. Maybe he, he's been eating too many strawberries with the pesticides on it, and he had like a pesticide and scotch. Hey, but you got to give it to him. He stood and kind of like looked at us, waiting for us to do something for like what five minutes. Nah, he was fucking yelling, dog. At everybody. He was yeah. just yelling. Shit. He was almost waiting for us to well, come out of the car. Right? Yeah, um, but but he was like yelling shit. Going. Let me like, finish it, dog. Let way. me finish it real quick. So first. He yells at those two white boys that are working on the hotel. Remember? Yeah. That's who he's yelling at. Then he comes and he sees us and he goes, he says it real low. I don't give a fuck that there's four vatos in that car. Yeah. <laughs> <And> then, <laughs> he said something about smoking. So he could smell the weed too. Yeah. Or whatever, and then that, we passing fu- that blunt. Yeah. Yeah. And then I turn my head and he was just like, What's up, homies? What's going on? And shit, fucking snitch. Y'all fools are ratas. Y'all fools. Fuck. And then he pulls his phone out, starts recording us. <laughs> After he's hey, he started recording us, darling. Like, we did something. Then oh, I, remember when he chased the car? No, okay, and then and then we. <laughs> I really didn't like stare at him. I was like, "Hey, man, this fucking vato right here, something's wrong with him." That's when you said something, though. No, no, I didn't say something until he came back because yeah. he chased the other car, right? He chases yeah. another car, dog, and I'm like, "Oh, thank God!" That, but that car was like, "Fuck this motherfucker!" <laughs> 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 right? And hey, everybody. That's now, when he came back. He came back, and I got to the point where I was just like, fuck, fool. I got a sold-out show. This ain't gangbanging. This ain't, like, fucking a man disrespecting me. This is someone with a medical condition. Something's wrong. So I was like, don't be a dick. And I was like, hey, are you all right, homie? Like, what's up? You good? You gave him a thumbs up, too, at one yeah. point. Yeah. And, yeah. Then, and then he was like. Hey, yeah, homies. Like, remember, he was like, "Yeah, he, he's like, gracias, gracias." And then he turns around and just started yelling shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, to right, someone else, but no one was crazy. there. Yeah, and then he leaves and it comes back. That's why. Like, and then that's when Xavier's like looking at the, like Xavier was that fine chick that was with the buffalo that was like, "Hey, homie, are you gonna back me up or what?" I was looking well, at Tommy well, like, well, "Yo, we I'll- did the circle." <laughs> that, uh, Xavier looks back at me like my homie. The fucking w- <laughs> when he didn't wake up, we looked, we were for tripping. <laughs> That's how Xavier looked at me. He's all, Tommy. I'm like, is he, what is this for? Is he yelling at us? You look at him, he's yelling that way. I'm yeah, like, you don't know what he's I don't gone. know who the fuck this was talking to. Yeah. And then well, but, oh, the no, funniest no, 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 shit no. is when we go around the apartment. No, uh, hold on. You're passing shit up, bro. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. there was that part. That, remember that part when, when uh, George was like, Tommy, you could fucking look at him if you want because <laughs> yeah. he was so scared or something. No, bro. I was just like, because I, I said, hey, you're, you're not on the TV, a for you're not on the oh, camera. Oh, oh. Scoot I, over, dog. Scoot over. Sorry, everybody. I got to be Tommy's big deal. No, but here. I, because I, I looked at him and he was looking over here yelling. I was like, this way yelling at us. And then, and, and, I was just fucking <laughs> nah, I didn't give a fuck about this fool. Hey, hey, dog. I remember, fool, because in my head I was like, all right, if this fool comes to the car, I'm going to take flight. And then I turned around to see what you guys were doing. And fuck I, was just, I was just like, this. I, was like <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm not driving on this. He was like like straight like that, bro. Like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you were like fucking tr- like ROTC junior, dog. Try not to be the head lead leader. <laughs> 
Your face was forward, dog. And then I go, hey, Tommy. You didn't even want to chew, dog. Yeah. <laughs> no, we didn't, you didn't even want to chew, dog. We had, we had, that was after we ate. <laughs> Shit, I fuck, I'm fucking, we dogged that food. We fucking no, tore no. off that food. It was Wait, fear. Oh, no, we were just chilling. I know. Lazy. It, it would have been fucked up for us to beat his ass, dog. That's yeah. why. Right, right, right. It wasn't like he was like, fuck you, Tommy. He didn't know who the fuck he was yeah, talking to. Yeah, and then when right. you did look at him, he was yelling like, Oh, dog, around. if he caught you looking at him, he would take a little step to you like, Ooh. <laughs> Right. <laughs> but this is the crazy part, dog, is where we were like, all right, fuck it, let's go. I, I, I go, hey, let's just go park in the, in the handicap. We got everyone with us. <laughs> Put the handicap plaque up. Yep. <laughs> but then X was like, park in the front because it's safer, he felt. Because, like, you know, <laughs> you're right there in the building, right, and the security could see. So then we were kind of made a lap around the building, right? He got mad. No, that boy had a camera. <laughs> but he was like in the middle of the parking lot. He was over waiting there. for X. Like, hey, I knew you were gonna come here. Hey, dog, come here. Hey, that shit was funny though, dog. Hey. But he was just a weirdo. At anybody, any car, he was just like filming in. Hey, homie, fucking I, yelling. At the end of the day, dog, it's uh, I don't know, man. Everywhere now, like I never went to Bakersfield and seen fools like that. Like, you know right, what I mean? Yeah. Like, everywhere you're getting now, you're getting, like, active druggies that are still kind of healthy. And they're doing, they got the money, so they're doing that shit hard. And it's yeah, fucking, yeah. if you go back there five years, that fucking poor homie's going to be fucking. Yeah, it's all. He, he's he's going to he's gonna record you with the phone that has no service. <laughs> <laughs> the, the phone probably off. Yeah. That's our first introduction to people in Bakersfield. Yeah, we're only crazy, there dude. for, like, 20 minutes. Yeah, just pulled in. Not got even food, 20 minutes. <laughs> finished our okay. meal, and that was it. Five, ten minutes. Hey, that's how Miklo must have felt, Tom, when he first got there. He's all. They were like, what happened? When he walked into the fucking, up the room? No, what's the first thing they tell him, though, when he walks in the chow hall? The fucking, uh, that's the red sunshine, all that darkness down there. That no. one? No. Oh. Hola, 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 pretty. Are you blind all over? <laughs> no, the first thing they tell him is fucking, Squirrel. oh, your blue eyes. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's a. That why don't you come line. over here, homie? I got something for you. Yeah, like, <laughs> I eyeball that fool. Hey, no, that's if you break it down, dog. <laughs> you know they say in Hollywood they want to bone the the actor, the producers, the actors are trying to bone Miklo like first shot, like first two minutes. Damn. That's it. Poor Desito, dog. Miklo was they were going after that fool, dog. His mom didn't want him, but all the fools in jail did. Yeah, his mom didn't even remember his birthday, dog. <laughs> uh, That's and cold. Then he definitely comes after a what while from being about? away. He's all, in six days, six more days, bingo. She's all, B- six days? What's in six days? Bingo. That's no, he's trying about. to give her hints. He's all, me cumpleaños, remember? She's all, oy, like, damn, that fucked up, huh? Didn't even and then I, so she's like, all right, cool. Let's go drop you off at your aunt's house. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, then, and then the mom, and then she doesn't even want him to aunt. She's like, hey, Miklo's going to stay with you. She's like, why? Like, oh, God. He's just why right the there. Lord He's just right off. there. He's like, huh. fuck. <laughs> she's like, you know, you can't stay here. I need that check. Yeah. Fuck. Hey, you know what? Fuck Miklo's mom. But hey, it is what it is, dog. His mom, his mom was probably like, hey, fool, check this out. There's a new there's a new type of stripper now. It's 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 like a it's the paisa. It's like so it's an Xavier, but like didn't move to Lake Elsinore, like <laughs> stayed in yeah. like the paisa area. And they're like strippers at bars, and they just break the manager off. They're like, hey, look, check it out. Like a lot of fools do coke here, eh? And I'm gonna fucking come in here and just let me fucking pimp these fools, eh? And like swoop off, jack fools off, and get fools off. Dog, it, <laughs> and it's, it's, fucking, it's going on like at pool halls and shit, dog. You go to Santana at night, dog, you're going to see some crazy hyena like that there. That's how <laughs> fucking Miklo's mom was. What pool hall is this? <laughs> <laughs> you can't even hold a pool stick. <laughs> <laughs> He's always there wondering if what pool hall is. Now, like, nah, he'd be good for it. He'd have to like hold a, like that. Perfect, I don't need a bridge. Dog. Yeah, let's <laughs> just go like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. behind the back. Uh, hey, but the you, craziest you, part, I'm sorry, man. But ahead, the brother. craziest part about that is when we went up to the room after all this stuff yes. had happened, and then you wanted the, one of these guys to go back again and get your iron. Fools are like, ain't nobody going back. Down there. <laughs> 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 that iron. X was like, hell no, bro. Look at me. I'll get my ass fucked up. And then the fucking ironing board, huh? 
Now, but uh, what do you think, Edwin? Because like, uh, hmm, I don't know. How, like, you started me off at comedy. You know what I'm saying? And like, what's up? And, and, and am I spoiling these fools too much, or are they stepping through? Like, what's up, Doc? Give give Xavier and Tommy an outside critique that's gonna help them. Is that cool, fellas? Yeah, because yeah. hey, dog, this fool gave me like the knowledge. He's not gonna tell you you suck. He's gonna give you like where to fix and tweak. So go ahead, my boy. Well, when I uh, we were in the hotel room, fucking Tommy's all going over his notes, right? <laughs> Good. Yeah, he's writing his notes. But I mean, I've seen you a few times, right? But I think this is the most nervous I've ever seen you. He's on the road before the, the show. First time. Yeah, for the. You know, the first time you went there, you're supposed to do, what, five minutes, and you end up doing, like, 15 or something like yeah. that. So you have that ability, that natural ability, that talent. That's good. You just got to, like, learn how to write jokes, yeah. you know? Cause, and then you're always worried about, like, oh, I didn't say this, or I got distracted and went this way. But you got to understand, that's going to happen every show, you know? That's going to go away when you get more stage time. Yeah, it might so, not go away. <laughs> well, yeah, it couldn't. Yeah, yeah but I'm saying. this day, I'm like, four. <laughs> He's still surprising me. I was surprised yeah. you were up there. Me and X were in the back talking about as long as you've been doing comedy for you to be doing 15 right now is pretty, it's 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 above, you know. But there's other things you have to work on, and then you could be like. You're holding the mic better. Yeah. Just working at it every day. <laughs> every, every day. day. <laughs> <laughs> or, hey, if I'm going to get you a mic at home, hey, that, that's a great drill, Tommy. When you go home now, learn. Keep holding the mic up and just do like in the mirror, and it'll be repetition. It'll stay locked in with you, right? Yeah, definitely. And for X, man, I, you, you got the hosting skills down. You, know, yeah, you got us did all good. Uh, X yeah. did good because the first time, set. dog, Edwin was like, a little, a little. "Are you bowling this one? <laughs> <laughs> you like them rough around the edges?" <laughs> because the, the other comic couldn't really follow you afterwards too, so it was like, "Yeah, yeah X is like, no, they can't follow me." <laughs> But, yeah, I mean, I think really it is. It comes to the more you go up and the more you do than other people, you'll get faster, funnier than them. And George is definitely, I would say, spoiling you because, dude, you don't have really that much experience and you're doing main shows already. You know what I mean? That's pretty badass, you know? And then... uh, So if you guys want to leave me, feel more than free, homie. (laughs) Well, when you do, or if you do leave them, that's when you'll find out what you had. Yeah. You you work with other headliners and they, they don't show that much love or whatever. You're like, damn. You know, but yeah. that's all comes with learning and growing and doing stand up comedy. See what happens when you go with George Lopez, homie. See who you <laughs> yeah, <bro>. right. <laughs> no, but I, I heard that about you for that. You oh, said yeah. that on the podcast you. that you're like, a hey, fool, I only know George because I thought he was George Lopez. <laughs> <laughs> and then Dude, be, that day he did come with a lot of backwoods. Yeah, he thought I was George Lopez. That's yeah. what I heard. That you, they said you. that you thought I was George oh, Lopez when I came here the first time. <laughs> I got you on my hey, where's he at? Yeah. What's your name? <laughs> hey, you should say that on stage, dog. See, that's a joke. Right, right? yeah. That's it's a real. joke. And it's real. You're like, yeah, I thought it was George Lopez, dog. But I was like, he's kind of funny, homie. <laughs> no fucking. This was trying to look for Carmela. Or what's her name? Carmen from the show? Car- Carmela. That's Sopranos. Yeah, what's her Carmen. name? Carmen. Carmen, yeah. I think she's lame. I wouldn't want to be married to fucking Carmen. She never fucking... She, she was don't hot look on like the show. She sucks dick or jacks you off. She's the one from Selena, no? No. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And she's the, she she boned the white boy in uh, Mi, Mi Familia. Oh, yeah. She's the one that was the fuck. That was she was a nun, a nun dog. Fuck out of here. She wasn't... She, she don't do it for me, dog. <laughs> <laughs> they should have had the Lotus right there, dog. The Lotus, eh? Mikulo's mom should have got more parts. That was my little rant. <laughs> <laughs> so what's cracking, though, Edwin? You're coming up, dog. Uh, this Friday, homie, you're at the stand-up. Yep, Bellflower. Man, the show's almost sold out. I'm going to be releasing these. I got them printed up. They're coming in tomorrow. Panoise in, in the hood. And I got some other merchandise, too. I'm going to try to pimp it out, bro. Let's go. All right. It's like like low ticket warning right now. Yeah. And and look, hey, look, if you're my fan and you're in Bellflower, go to see Edwin. But if you live in Covina, don't. Go see me. (laughs) (laughs) At the Covina Laugh Factory, I'm going to be there Friday the 22nd, Saturday the 23rd, and we just added a Sunday the 24th. And I'm bringing X and Tommy and... uh, I don't know why I'm doing a commercial in the middle of this, dog. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's going to sell out. And these will need to go buy tickets. Yeah, 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 came from it, Bakersfield, sold that out. Yeah, now you're like, going here. Covina sold out. 
So, yo, guys. Editing I, shows. Sorry, man. Hey, nah, this you're is fucking good. all bad, bro. Thank bad you, ass. brother. So, yeah, everybody. Uh, hey, you might as well th- uh, throw in April 1st. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to throw it in. But, hey, this Kavina stuff, I'm working on a whole new set. And you're going to get a little bit of my old jokes, but a lot of new shit I've been working on at the store. So, come check it out. Also, my birthday show is April 1st. It's a Monday, dog. And it's. If you want to have one of the best Mondays of your life, Cypress Hill is going to be there. Be real from Cypress Hill. The homie's going to come out on stage and all. He's not just going to be sitting in the crowd. You don't know. He might bust a flow. He might tell jokes. He might even host. I don't know. You got to think who he's also going to invite. Yeah. Like, That's all I'm saying. Like yeah. it's, it's not, It might it's, not be the usual. We're like, oh, it's going to be everybody. It's going to be a popping Monday night. Yeah, bro, dog. That. It's April Fool's, It's too. April Fool's. Yeah. And like... We can't be like April Fools, cause yeah. be real, you guys can sue us. Hey, and tickets are already for, on sale now. They're yeah, now. tickets are on sale right now. Comedy store, they're on the link. Uh, main, go to main room April first. Check them out. And like, if I didn't think about that though, huh? I am. This is the first show I'm gonna have like a guest list. Oh dang! Cause be real is probably gonna invite like Cheech Chong. Who you gonna invite? Okay. Tommy Baby Bash. I would tell Baby Bash to come through. So, hey, what's up? <laughs> hey, right now, dog, t- tell Big Chaka. Get, invite him. <laughs> let, let, me see, let me see your invite to Which Baby one? Bash, dog. Inviting him Put to the, the camera on him, dog. You might perform. You might sing up on stage. If Baby Bash shows up, I'll let you go up there and sing, dog. So. Oh, we're going up and fucking jamming. So, let, let me, me hear be, how you... I'm gonna how are you going to ask Baby Bash, dog? Can I ask you to ask something? Baby Bash. <laughs> now you're with us to defend the barrio. Hey, fix the mic, though, player. I want to hear you better. Like, go like this, Tommy. Is it yeah, yeah, testing. yeah. That sound way better. Good, good. Sorry that I have to be the engineer, Tommy. You know, no, but yeah. he's setting you up. He's setting you up nice. Baby bass, pull up. Not saying we're gonna be right there. B real is gonna be right there. We're gonna be. And I'm saying everyone's gonna be right there singing. So we're gonna do the oldies. We're gonna oh, we're gonna fucking Don't look at me for you. Look at baby bash. <laughs> oh, I was just telling George too, baby tra- bash. Hey, tra- hey, let's tra- hey, hold on. let we're me gonna- give me the intro, Tommy. Let me help you out. So look, dog, Tommy. <laughs> exactly, Tommy. You should talk, sing a little in in the intro, and uh, <laughs> for reals, Tommy, you need a culture of this dog. Come you're you're a wild kid. Baby bash. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, he was yeah. singing on the way to the uh, on the way uh, to the uh, Bakersfield. Too. Yeah, it was nice. So, all right, dog, let's go. The invite to Baby Bash. Let's hit do it. him. Hit him, X. Even April Fools, come to the party. Have a good time. Come and party, baby. Up. Even my cat baby was this Baby Bash pulling up. Pull up, baby Bash. We're gonna be right there. Be real. Me, you know what I'm saying? George, we're gonna celebrate his birthday. It's going down. Edwin's gonna be there. X is gonna be there. E Zone's gonna be there. Is in a lot in of hidden and a lot of mystery lineup, doggy. Yep. Special guests. Who would you have at your birthday party, Tommy? Let's say let's say it's five years from now and you're like you're headlining like clubs Copy. that have like a hundred people, dog. We're gonna be right there, and then it's gonna be f- f- Drake. Who? <laughs> <laughs> fucking Drake's gonna go to your shit. Yeah. Who? The game will be probably right there. The game. Okay. That's old school shit. Player shit. By then, the game's gonna be old school. And he's from around, so they'll be like, "Hey, you know what I'm saying? I was born in Martin Luther King Hospital too." Okay. You guys are in the are same you gonna room. Make the, or? Are you gonna make? Hey, the we were both born in Martin Luther King Hospital. Come on, dog. And we're the same age. Yeah? So I you, might have, you know what I'm saying, been in the same room. My mom probably knew, knows his mom now. No, I was with a negrita in the cuarto. Say, God. Me dijo que su hijo tenía juego. Le pusieron game. <laughs> it might have been him. <laughs> All right, who else? Who else? You got three more. I was going to say Michael Jackson, but he ain't around him. He He's dead. Suge Knight. You want Suge Knight? You- no, no, no. The, the hologram of Tupac's going to be there. Nah, come on, dog. Now, who? The holograms are wet. George, who's your lineup? 
No, I'm a whip for everyone. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're already having it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I got it. No, I'm, I'm not an exaggerator. I, I, I got it. <laughs> this ain't going to happen for Tommy. It happened for me. No, but it's everybody going to be right there. Uh, Mario Lopez. <coughs> <laughs> fucking Mar- they, uh, Mario Lopez is cool, dog. Hell yeah, that was a player. All right, Edwin, who would you have on your birthday show, dog? Well, I'd have a all uh, Star Wars themed, and then I'd have probably like Samuel Jackson. Nice. Damn. He could play Mace Windu, and then I'll have like Eminem, and he could play Luke Skywalker. Just have them all come in costumes. I'll be like, what, what? Eminem gonna perform in the costume? I don't know. Maybe that'd be nice, yeah, right? It was Slim Shady lightsabers. Dang. Who, who, <laughs> Tommy's already trying to interrupt your birthday. <laughs> Tommy's like, hold on. I'm like, no, oh, dude, I'm going to have my fucking, <laughs> bl- fucking blood in, blood out theme. <laughs> <laughs> Little ass kid, Tommy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, bro. I'm all forever. Uh, I'm all fucking. You're like, Samuel Jackson's going to fight. <laughs> bonafide. <laughs> gonna, Samuel Jackson's going to be bonafide. Like Eminem's going to be Miklo. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, but hey, do you think Bonafide comb has more power than a lightsaber? Shh. He might. Hey, that what you know what power that, is that? <laughs> you know what you know what this comb has? Black power. Some some little fella like you might be scared about. Remember? Or no, something you don't know about. Yeah. He's like he's, he's like, like I got no problem, problem, brother. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, X? Who you gonna have there, dog? Me? I'd have Joe Rogan. Okay. Have Los Tigres del Norte. But that only counts as one person because that's like a group. The Tigres del Norte, yeah, they're dog? Gonna be yeah, yeah, they're yeah. going to be performing, dog. Uh, Kim Kardashian. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> she's going um, she, to be her date? Nah, she's just pulling up. She's just there? Yeah. Who would you rather hear, Kim or Kylie? Because she's younger, right? She ain't been dug out as much as older. You're sister. right. Yeah, Kylie. And she's what, You're 22? going for Kylie? How old is she? Like, nah, she's probably like 28 already. Yeah, she's older now. Yeah. She's in your range. Hey, I told you. Right? I seen her. Where? Fool, she passed right by me like this. I think she, like, her chest, her arm rubbed me right here like this. And you know what she like said? Like her shoulder. You know what I was she like, said? Why are you getting when she close? walked by Tommy? I was like, I'll call her right now. <laughs> she, no, but, hey, hey, I, I seen her. Finish. Let X finish. That's it? I bet pretty much. Who's going to perform? Like, what is Kira the Norte? And Joe Rogan? Yeah. You're, they gotta, gonna, you're gonna do fifteen, let Joe do an hour? Nah, Joe Rogan's just there to like the whole he just yeah. he's there. He's popping the bottle. Yeah. Ah, I got cigars. I got Anybody somebody ask you a question, you're gonna be hold on, Joe. You know the answer, right? Yeah. Okay. Have him. That's what's up. Jamie? You want to <laughs> you gotta invite, see you gotta invite cool people so people wanna come to your party, you know? Like if you I got Kim Kardashian there, I pretty much invited all the hot like anybody else that I want with her. Smart. Be like, oh, we're gonna yeah, be but here. damn, you thought about this. She's not going to be kicking her no one. She's going to have security around her the whole time, dog. That's why. Right there with her. See, like me, I'm going to buy a hood rat that look like Kim Kardashian. <laughs> like, look like fine. Hey, dog, there's a lot of people that look like Kim Kardashian. They just don't have her management. They don't have her mom. They haven't fucked movie stars and all that. It's really, it's who you fuck. Would, would anybody invite an athlete? No one mentioned an athlete. My favorite athlete, <laughs> Michael like Jordan. Fun. I don't know how he would act. I would... Okay, Shaq. Would you I would have Michael party? Jordan if he let me do coke. If he would do coke with me, oh, it is at your party. It is your rules. Yeah, I'll do coke off his sneaker. <laughs> what about Shaq? <laughs> huh? Shaq, would you have Shaq at your party? That's, he's too big. Oh, yeah, he's just eat too all big ass out of here. Yeah, but hey, but if someone tries to throw down, Shaq He'd be like, hey, come here, no, <laughs> hey, come back. <laughs> <laughs> he would have been hey. used for a Bakersfield. <laughs> oh, big ass. So who else would you have? I mean, that's for a- athletes. Or I would have Caitlin Clark. Ooh, yeah. Because right. you know yeah, she could be my bad. beer pong partner, dog. That college chick that's tearing Kate, it up. Dog, exa- Caitlin Clark. Hey, look, homie. You're right. I forgot about my beer pong partner. Exactly. See, mm. Caitlin Clark will be the my beer pong beer partner. Pong? Dog, she's bad, homie. Oh, for the part at the party. Yeah. yeah. Come on, player. Who's going to be your partner? <laughs> Hold on, <laughs> fool. Let me finish mine, dog. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. So it's going to be uh, Michael Jordan, Caitlin Clark. Uh, I'm going to go around the world. Basketball, then a soccer player. What soccer player would I want there? Though? Messi. Nah, he's a corn. That fool's been with his lady since high school. I want like yeah. a dirty fool. 
Like the fool that played for Brazil, dog? Ronaldinho. Yeah. Ronaldinho's a Ronaldo. dirtbag. He's been caught He's been caught with like uh, with coke and shit back in the day. And I don't want like... That, that's not a <laughs> dirtbag. <laughs> this motherfucker won a World Cup and he got caught with coke in the place that makes nah, coke. he would show up to practice at five, <laughs> at like five and then be like, this fool just got from partying and shit. Yeah, he but they party. won a World Cup. Yeah, why, why wouldn't you want him there? He's not a dirtbag. That's fucked up. Keep going. All right. What about baseball? Uh, Daryl Strawberry For sure not fucking Puig After the story I heard about him man. He's what still alive Nah no, I can't even say it dog Oh shit <laughs> <laughs> Some crazy shit Crazy man. dog uh, We'll hear it after No not, not with us But we heard that Puig Be fucking oh. wild and Out in Hollywood dog That fool's a fucking Crazy ass fool Okay uh, for Mike baseball Tyson? What about Mike No no Tyson? hold on okay, We okay, haven't okay, got okay, to there okay, okay. For baseball You know what Otani dog for real? He, yeah, Hell he's a new nah. Dodger. And, hey, and you, you're going to be some fine-ass Asian hands at the party now. I'm covering oh, yeah. all bases, dog. Okay. Mm-hmm. And for boxing, that oh, homeboy Ryan Garcia, dog. Damn, I'm, yeah, that food. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to go with Mayweather for this one. I'd have Mayweather, br- Mayweather bring the fr- Yeah, Yeah, we'd all sing karaoke. <laughs> Who? He would, lead, he would lead the karaoke. Hell, he's good at basketball too, huh? Oh, he's all right, I think. Yeah, but all Filipinos, Filipinos are, huh, they, they they play volleyball at their parties. <laughs> the, yeah, because they're all point guards and <laughs> they're so <still laughs> short. With volleyball. <laughs> so, who would you have of your athletes? My athletes, I would, uh, Pacquiao, fucking um, soccer. I don't know any of soccer players really. Baseball. But, uh, um, baseball. Um, Sosa, Barry Bonds. Sosa's white now. I, w- I would like to oh, see old school guys that's still now. alive, but like fucking Davy Lopez. Ooh. Okay. Fools Mickey, that I watch. Oh, you. Man, um, fucking Ron Mickey Say Mantle. Or, like, Mickey Mantle, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for a death fair <laughs> party with Mickey Mantle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fucking Pete cool. Rose and shit. Pete Rose is a fucking party back in the day. P Rose, that's Charlie Hustle. You guys are gonna have a part that's gonna end early with all these old ass. <laughs> yeah, that's probably why I like it better. Anyway, that shit's gonna keep going. Though. <laughs> we can play bingo. All right. What well, no one w- said Dennis Rodman. Oh yeah. Well, nah, because nah, nah, kind of fool, gonna, he's gonna get the party shut down. Apple went to Korea and shit. He's kind of. Didn't you see him at the he was at badass. the Pink yeah. Dot? Me and me and Eddie ran into him at the Pink Dot. He bought our stuff because he was had the whole thing. Fool, so he's like, go ahead, whatever they get, and I'll pay for it too. And we're like, the ladies, like, beep, beep. Like, Damn. Go. Eddie was all fanned out to a picture. <laughs> like, I ain't holding the camera, homie. I was just holding the phone. What do you think camera. Eddie said? He goes, hey, fool, I haven't seen my kids in years either. Really. <laughs> he's like, go ahead and get another, go ahead and get another drink. <laughs> he's like, give him something to go. <laughs> <laughs> something to go. Fucking loco, huh? That's what's up, man. Party, hey, but the parties go, dog. But uh, no, but April first gonna be lit. Yeah, yeah. But moving on and shit. Uh, this brings me to a good premise. Um, you know what? I I haven't seen an old school like fight at a party where two fools fight, and then like just they both of those parties jammed to go get a cuete. But like you jammed too. But like it was like a, like yeah. You, you ever seen like a good fight like that? They were like. Like these fools fought for like 80 seconds straight. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, when you think about it, you fight for 30 seconds, it's forever, huh? For You're real. Like, <laughs> All red. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I just old school, seventh grade, fighting in a restroom and shit. Yeah. Back in the day, no was fucking youngster. But when I was like little kid. You didn't fight in high school? Fight. Yeah. Yeah, I got kicked out. Yeah, but you weren't from a hood, huh? You weren't like hitting fools no. up. You're like, hey, what rock you from? <laughs> well, what fucking part of the fucking Ranch Crest are you from? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, dude, there's only one healthy track. No, oh, yeah, there's no fucking. <laughs> the dirt lot. What about you, Edwin? You ever been to like some crazy parties? Because you grew up in that era, right? Of house parties? Man, I, yeah, I went to this one bachelor party, bro. And there was this big Samoan dude. And everyone was saying, man, bro, watch out for that dude. You know, he's crazy. I've been to a party with him before. And then, sure enough, later on that night, dude, they're on the street outside fucking fighting. But it was like it was like eight Filipino dudes against this one big ass Samoan. And he dude. was serving he fools. He was fucking off. knocking fools out, bro. It was like, and everyone was like, "I told you, watch out for that dude." 
Huh. He was calling my friend Mondo Richie Cunningham. Like, yeah, he was who, trying to bag on fools, you know. And then uh, who invited this motherfucker? Huh? Yeah. Well, Samoans they sneak in with the Filipinos. <laughs> <laughs> They're both Pacific <laughs> Islanders, right? Yeah, they just look like big shadows, I guess. They creep yeah, in, but up, he was fucked up. And then people were on top of him, jumping him, and he they got, got fucked him at up. The end? Yeah, he got up. He got him at the end. He got Damn. fucked up. I would have jammed for because Samoa and they fan, the whole family comes back. Dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're already on their way. Yeah, but it was just like a bunch of ninjas coming out because he was knocking fools out, but then more would come. Like they had, you guys were like the Ewoks, <laughs> yeah, like Shogun or some shit. Like you know, uh, they're just coming out because some Filipino gangs are they'll let their their fucking youngsters fight and they'll just stay in the back watch it and see how they how they react and yeah. act, you know, before they jump in or anything like that. Everybody like, does that. Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Throw the little goons out. Yeah, see what they're made of, whatever. I've been in, like, fights. With, I've been I've been in, like, fight. I remember the fights at parties was, like, all of us versus all of them. Just fucking everyone just duking it out. Yeah, <laughs> you know, just, like, fuck. And even, like, sometimes you hit your own home. You're like, hey, my bad, pedal. <laughs> yeah, the, <laughs> there was some shit where they, the, the homies like this. this <laughs> got socked from the homie. Of course. Go ahead, Tommy. Beat my story, dog. No, just I remember a crazy fucking party story. Food threw a bottle just up in the air, and that's what kicked off the whole party. Earlier, you were just like, no, nah, fool, just in the restroom fights, you know? No, we are seven <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, but then we got into the party fights. Yeah. Nah, it was hey, crazy, homie, but uh, now fools just start shooting. Nobody fights no more. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, it's a... Um, you get caught on camera, dog. Wait, like this camera shit. Yeah, it's everywhere now. Huh? It's everywhere, yeah. dog, like... Yeah, for everyone's filming. As soon as fools start fighting, what's like up? from now on, when I fight, dog, like this is literally how I think. Before I would just be like, if you disrespect me, I'm gonna take flight. But now I'm just like, all right, for full disrespect, I gotta disrespect back just to get him to hit me. So it's on camera that I'm defending myself. You have to actually take the blow, dog. Yeah, you know, right. If you want to fuck and not go to jail, you got to take the first punch. And sometimes that fucking hurts, see? Yeah. <laughs> and you were younger back then. We were all younger back then. So yeah, like, it's We had not much thinking. to lose. I know, but, like, I'm just saying, like, at the end of the day, like, those fights. Yeah. You know what's crazy for? I got, I've been hit hard as fuck before, dog, where it's like, um, you do see those, like, stars, eh? And then you get hit, and then your hearing goes away. You're like, uh... You're feeling the swellingness come to you at that point, and then out of nowhere, dog, you just get this like feeling from your bottom to your feet. Their hands like, "Hey, for if you don't swing back right now, you might not make it." Yeah, <laughs> you <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> Are you a crier, Edwin? Have you fought before? Yeah, I cry if the f- thought of fighting. <laughs> well, dude, no. This guy's bare knuckle champion. <laughs> I only have, barely I had a knuckle. Have to just elbow people. Yeah, yeah. I have to get close enough and act like we're friends and shit, and then fucking get my sucker punch in or a sucker elbow in if I had to. Like, you never did karate or nothing. Yeah, I took karate, but I only got to the yellow belt. Yeah, <laughs> but everybody knew, thought I knew shit because I was Asian. So like, <laughs> I would teach class at recess and shit. <laughs> You're all like, oh yeah, yeah. I'd have them all line up and doing punches and stuff. And Hell Kia. yeah! Food, you would wear your yellow belt to school. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I brought it. What's this, Tommy? Didn't you guys do something like that similar? But you, what you guys, what had samurais karate? You, rich press? Weren't you in karate or something? Nah, I wanted to fucking be in karate, but I, they didn't have karate over there in rich press. Uh, My homie was a black belt. <laughs> they didn't have karate. <laughs> so my homie was a black belt. <laughs> no, but he was in the Navy. His dad was in the Navy, so it, it, but he was already a black belt when he came to town and shit. Damn, was he bad? We were in fourth grade. That was fourth grade we and you're already like, a black hey, Is that achievable? Yeah, hell yeah. I don't even think that's yes, achievable. Yes, it is. <laughs> no can do. I don't think so. <laughs> no, no, yeah. Hey, this no way, Jose. Like, uh, Power Ranger cakes and shit. <laughs> Power Ranger like, Fuck it, let's go. <laughs> no, it was like form. what? Yeah, fourth grade, fifth grade. <laughs> you could be a, a black belt in fourth grade, fifth grade. <laughs> you could be a master in fifth grade. Just <laughs> <laughs> be teaching class. Well, it says it takes from an average from three to five years to yeah. be a black, black belt. belt in so, karate. Though, that so ain't... what grade was he in? Taekwondo. Fourth. Fourth grade. You're only nine years old. Yeah, nine, yeah. ten years old. 
So, so he's, he's they go karate he fire. You don't see the little kids like this, man. But you you don't get a black belt at that age. No, you but you do the training and then you pass whatever. It's like that. You do the. All right, go ahead. Dog. You could win. You could you could get a belt a year or two belts a year, <laughs> as long as you do the training. Okay. No, but my homie was there all the time, like sick ass fool. Where yeah, where where, where were you? I thought there was no karate school. Or... And 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 he His he was a private lesson. He was like a uh, in the navy, and wherever he came from, that fool he was a black belt. <laughs> now he's like, damn, they almost caught me. We got, he's like, all right, guys, don't forget, April 1st, <laughs> <laughs> March 22nd. <laughs> no, but for, hey, the homie Jimmy, sick yeah. ass who I fucking doing kicks. Jimmy's brother? Did I tell you the story about when we were little and we went to go see the Power Rangers? No. Fool, my homie woke me up at, in the morning, hey. We're, the Power Rangers are going to be at Kmart taking pictures. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> we fucking rode. We got on our bikes, fucking rode all the way over there to fucking Kmart. It was a mission. Well, it was close, but when we were, you're a little shit's far. You're like, damn, it was all far. And you'd be like, damn, that shit was down the street. But we rode our bikes all the way to Kmart. We got there, pumped up, and the fucking, they had big ass heads. The, the Power Rangers were like, hey, these ain't the fucking Power Rangers. They got us. Yeah, we still took pictures, with it them, but the we're like, hey, do some kicks in. It was the Power Strangers, a little pedophile. <laughs> yeah, you go. This is how it looks on TV. We're like, nah, nah. You fucked that up. You're supposed to say the TV has five pounds. <laughs> no, <laughs> and then, uh, but we made them do kicks and shit. <laughs> you made them? Yeah, yeah we're like, hey, do some fucking kicks or something, man. <laughs> Outside Kmart? Yeah, no, inside the Kmart. We're like, hey, you got, you can't just let us. <laughs> but let me see some. Did you well, buy anything? Yeah, those, those are t- That's actually a good yeah, topic. Yeah, we took pictures with have, them. Have you ever been disappointed? Like when you showed up to go, like Tommy drove his fucking bike to go see Power Rangers and it was not even them. Has that ever happened to you? Oh, man. Um, I'm trying to think right now. But I remember riding my bikes like when we were real young to places like we went to the beach, rode from my house to the beach. How far is that, dog? Like an hour? It took us like, and we're little kids. Yeah, we just took the riverbed all the way down. Oh no, go to the beach. And then when we got there, it took maybe over an hour and a half. We got all scared. We stayed for like five minutes and then rode back. We were disappointed. <laughs> like, oh, this is all the way from huh. here. There ain't no, no girls in bikinis. Yeah, and then we didn't have locks for our bikes, so we couldn't like leave our bikes and uh, go to the water. So we just, it, was, it was disappointing. So I guess that would be one. And with riding bikes, it's like, wow. But it's fun. Kids don't ride bikes anymore. Yeah. Bro. Well, the, like, there's too many cars out there, dog. Too many people on their phoning. If like, you see someone on a bike now, they're like an adult and they're like a crackhead. And crackheads. Yeah, yeah. hey, but them fools are good, dogs. <laughs> fools be doing wheelies and shit all oh. the way down the whole street. You be like, look at this fool. He's like, I see. I see this fool holding a pipa, hitting it, doing a wheelie. Dog. <laughs> Sick Damn. ass who? And he was he was spinning the pipe and then the <laughs> the fucking thing was the spinning. handlebars too. Yeah. Hey, Man. there's some the fools. Be, that's all you see. Crackheads or they'll be ha- they'll have like two bikes sh- on yeah, one that's, bike. That's old school shit. It's hey dog. It's always been around. You know, I started doing drugs when I was in high school. I was just I was never a heavy doer. I was a sampler. I fucked around. I did it sometimes it was heavy, but never would like it would fuck me up. And like I've seen this, the the fools were doing it back then, but it was only like two or three fools in a city. Like you know what I mean? Now that it's accessible. Uh, what do you think, X? About what? Little Boosie said something once that was real good. He says, hey, man, you guys should just stop making fentanyl and Oxycontin and all that and just make crack again. He said, because a crackhead still went to work. A crackhead <laughs> lived. You know, it's like, y- y'all fools. Hey, homie, it's, uh, from what I've heard, some fools that smoke fentanyl are just like, that slam it. I, I can't wait to ODA. It's like I heard it's the best. Damn. Damn. Fuck. Hey, dog. It's a, you got to remember, a drug makes you think you need it. That's well, crazy. The, you think pussy is a drug? The new fucking the thing. Fools are making fentanyl like the, the pens, like the cartridge. Yeah. Hey, come Damn. on. These fools are scientists. It's not, it's not them. It's people that it's money, player. Like, you know who makes the most money? The makers of the fucking Tylenol, Advil, something you have to use Her. all the time, and it's easy access. I've said this before, right? Yep. The well, Sackler family, whoever created OxyContin, loaded. Whatever happened to that? Yeah. That OxyContin. And they got sued, and they, they had to pay, like. Yeah, nothing. Like, <laughs> yeah. Nothing. They had an account for the fine that was coming. Mm-hmm. 
Damn. What, what was uh, the name of that dude or whatever happened with that guy that didn't he buy Oxycontin and then he tried to sell it for like super expensive? No, that was a guy that brought uh, the HIV. Oh, he brought. No, I he, think it was he, a diabetes. Uh, yeah, diabetes the medicine, insulin. and he's literally pumped up the valley. Yeah, and he bought the Wu Tang. Yeah, and the government was like, "You're not allowed to do this." Like, uh, yeah, I'm technically, but they ended up getting him anyways because yeah. it's like monopoly. So he went to jail. Yeah. So he bought the uh, Wu Tang. Yeah. The, the, he bought a special album from Wu Tang. Oh, okay. And it can't be released until thirty years. Damn. But he's allowed to listen to it, and he's allowed to let people listen to it at his house. Like, oh, okay, that's pretty That's tired. gangster Damn, shit. Damn, that's wild. Right. You know, Ooh, Michael Jackson did something like that. What? You know, uh, Eminem. You hear the kids screaming in the background. <laughs> nah, you know Eminem. You know that song Eminem made, uh, "Just Lose It." Yeah. And he makes fun of Michael Jackson, his nose falling off. Well, he, Michael Jackson didn't like that shit, obviously. So Michael Jackson bought his whole catalog, and every time Eminem performed. Michael Jackson got paid. That's some baller gangster shit. Like, that's like, I got money, go fuck yourself. He bought his whole catalog. Michael Jackson owned Eminem's catalog, and every time Eminem performed that song, money in the bank for, for Michael Jackson. He's like, go ahead and make fun of me. Then fuck Didn't me. that fool own Marvel, too? Yeah, Apple owned, like, the Beatles thing. I think at one point he also owned the oh, Beatles catalog. Oh, he owned the Beatles, Beatles catalog. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he went out there and bought a lot of fucking catalog, but he did it to Eminem to prove a point. Like, you don't make fun of me, fucker. You I'm Michael buy- Jackson. Huh? Yeah. Joe Coy did the same thing to you. You took your catalog. <laughs> you didn't buy my catalog. <laughs> that took your Rolodex. <laughs> you fucking bought your uh, PG folders. Hey, know? whose catalog would you buy if you could? And, and not to keep it, but is Music? there anybody? Yeah, is there anybody you would want to be like, man, I don't want to like have the rights to this. Like, mm, that's a good question. You know, honestly, dog, it would. Uh, be funk music. I would buy like a funk music catalog because funk music's gonna live forever, dog. It's it makes gangsters, killers, in pimps the <laughs> most happiest I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, that's how strong funk music is, dog. Funk music will make a gangster like, you, but hey, don't you hurt my jam? You're just yeah, too yeah, homie. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, if it true. was like to some fucking snoop, yeah, some shit's gonna go down. They're like, what's up, though, homie? Yeah. So it, it, I would buy, like, the Funk Freaks catalog, Diamond Ortiz catalog, like, the Bar K's, Free Shy Lights, Parliament, Zap, Zap all that shit. Yeah. You know how much money that shit's getting played? I even buy, like... Uh, Tup- imagine who, Tupac? Who? Nah, I that catalog's Tupac's. just... That's so... Watered down now? Nah, it's just split up in so many places. He worked with so many. Thanks for interrupting my catalog, Tommy. <laughs> Still had a couple funk bands, dog. What catalog are you buying? You really don't need that many to make money. I mean, if you have cat, because they, once they play the song, you get that money for it. But but there, I would see, do what Michael Jackson catalog- did. Yeah. I would have got the Beatles one also. Yeah, that was smart, huh? Yeah, I think they went to fight to get it back. Like John Lennon's or Yoko Ono and all they or whatever they wanted to. They want they don't want Michael Jackson to have the rights of it. So I don't know if they bought it back. And it's funny how he how dead person has the rights to other people's dead music fucking <laughs> shit. Well that's, that's what's wild, huh? estate. That's yeah. kids and shit. Yeah. Like George Carlin is making money still. Who? George Carlin. Like off oh, of his man. stuff. Yeah, yeah, right. So p- people play his shit and money. That's like, why when you die, music? yeah, it's gonna be there forever, yeah, right? Michael's gonna be there forever, dog. Michael Jackson's catalog. Yeah. Hey, R. Kelly's catalog is gonna make it too, dog. Even all the all the bad shit that motherfucker did. But they don't play him on the radio or nothing. Yeah, no. they do. Yeah, you still hear? Tell me, he's on Spotify. He's featured. Yeah, that's true. Is he out of jail? Nah, he's doing yeah. life, right? Yeah, he's pretty much gonna be in there for life. Wow. Somebody said that that fool's been out of jail. Look it up, is Avery? Nah, you're Bill, talking about nah. Cosby. You're talking Bill about Bill Cosby. Cosby. No, sure Bill Cosby's about. out. I <laughs> think so. Is and Bill Cosby was going to become the owner of a network too, and then they framed him with that bullshit, right? Yeah, Damn. framed with with all the hunters? dude. He those. got that shit. Got got all case dismissed. Oh, it did because they got tampered with the evidence. You know, yeah. some bullshit like some lawyer S- shit. Yeah, S- but he some did. people said he was a real creepo, though. No, he or was not. Nah, yeah, he definitely yeah, but, was. But, 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 <laughs> What I'm trying to say is, like, I'm not defending this for at all. I'm just trying to put situation in right now. In his era of time, it was like, w- was it a crime to give a girl the Ambien, the shit that he was giving them? He was giving them Quaaludes. And they wanted it, right? Supposedly, is that what they're that's saying? That's what he said, that he wanted Like, yeah, it was, yeah. It was mutual. Suppose, but that's what he says, yeah. And they didn't sue this fool till like, 20 years later until they were like, you know what? I should have never done that with them. It's going on again. Let's go. I'm going to say something. I don't know, homie. I'm not trying to hurt Heinous feelings because some Heinous is going to take, like, Trust me, if if you're the kind of vato that gives highness drugs or shit like that, I'm, you're not my friend. I'll fuck you up. Yeah. But 
in this case, I was like, if you put the pieces together, dog, he was about to become owner of like Channel Four. Damn. And then all that little frame shit to get the power. Do you think it's that deep? Dude, the fool that fucking told on Boeing got, smoked himself. Right, right X? Yeah, Probably. he died supposedly, yeah. right? Suicide. Yeah, yeah, right. Jeffrey Epstein. Last call, Hillary Clinton. <laughs> yeah. How many people she had died and committing suicide? I think supposedly. there's like, how many people that she's known or worked with have killed like, herself? Connected to her? It's like 50 people. Don't you yeah. remember her chef died at a pond? Or was that Michael? Or was that the Obama's? But someone died in a yeah. pond. Yeah. Obama's chef died at um, driving... Dude, I watched too many movies, like and they all died that like way in the movies. Like, yeah. Secret stuff happens, bro, that you, behind the scenes you don't know about. So when it's on the movies, it's in real life, bro. Yeah. Like, that's, that's crazy. Would you fuck Hillary Clinton or Joe Biden next? Michelle, Michelle, Come on. Michelle, Michelle Obama. Hey, dog, I haven't even asked you. <laughs> Hillary, <laughs> Clinton. <laughs> Hillary Clinton, that's a pussy. You got to fuck the pussy. What about Joe Biden? Joe Biden's lady is. I, I take her over because you know Joe. That pussy is so good. He's sleeping all the time. <laughs> <laughs> she does. Is she look hot? No, Trump's Trump's wife She's is the hottest. Way younger, oh, yeah, yeah. She yeah. but I'm not yeah. throwing her in. I'm throwing in like. What about Michelle? Michelle I Hillary Michelle Hillary or Jill? Jill or Camilla. <laughs> I'll bone Camilla. Yeah, come out. So, yeah, you can. I'll, yeah. I'll, even though she's a lame and AOC. I don't. Oh yeah. How about Barbara say, Bush? Yeah, I'll take Barbara Bush. Down, right? Actually, I'll bone any politician lady. Right? I'll take <laughs> Rachel's Wait old up. ass. They right fuck now. us over Wait so up. much. It's about our turn. You take Nancy Pelosi? Hell yeah! She got bro. big old titties. They Damn. hell. Yeah. Yeah. I'll yeah, be like, you need more parking yeah. tickets? I'll get fucking. I'll take the good jail car. I'll do anything. Bro. Well, and she knows all that insider trading. She'll give you that stock hey, dog, shit. After I bone her for, I'll get vaccinated. <laughs> I'll do anything she wants. Bro. Sure. Please, guys, let your kids get read by anybody. Yo, this is George Press Stories. We're going to take a break late. And we're back like a hood rat in the Cadillac waiting for the sizzag. George Press Stories is also brought to you by Gunther's, located in downtown. <coughs> <coughs> yep. Damn, homie, that was good. Damn. Let's go again. <coughs> <coughs> You got all of us clearing our throats now. Yeah, my bad. No. Ready? Yep. Three, two. And we're back like a hood rat in the Cadillac waiting for the sizzag. George Perez Stories is also brought to you by Gunther's, located in downtown Santana. They got two stores. They got a store at Suavecito, and they got a store in Monte, and they're always at the Lowrider shows. What is Gunther's? Just the most firme Pendleton's. To me, you know what I'm saying? Like, they have a huge selection of Pendleton's, Ben Davis, 501s, Khakis, Dickies, the Solos. They they got the jacket that Santana got stabbed in right there. No, they got it all. They also got Vans, Carhartt. Hey, if you want to dress Chicano and proud, say laugh. Gunther's. And uh, if you don't live in California, go to Gunther's.co. We don't have a promo code, but you will look dope. Hey, did you find your suavecito jacket? Nah. Palabra. Wait up, you took one? He said he left it here, dog. No, I don't know where. I, I, I'm like, the last place that I wore it was here. No, I mean, not at the hotel, because me, me and George did the typical fucking... Yeah, yeah, yeah we did. No, 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 no he hit me before, before that. Oh, okay. It's all right. we'll, it'll pop it up. It wasn't, dog. It'll pop up. It's going to be in... My house somewhere. We're like, oh, there it is. You think Earl Skakel took it from the store in the main room? <laughs> he, it was probably in the main room from that time that I and maybe like, went in. A, I was, did a little hour over there when it's, I popped in. <laughs> time I popped a in at the hour. store. Yeah, this fool did an hour, dog. It took him an hour to go to the bar and come back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's an hour. Hey, homie, when you first started comedy, was the comedy store booming? Man, I really didn't go to the comedy store that much, remember? But it was popping, bro. Yeah? Yeah. I remember um, just fucking Joe Diaz being over there all the time. You know what I mean? And now the fact that he's not there over anymore. But yeah, I remember Rogan when he was going over there. And I went one time and he was sitting on my car in the back. And, and uh, <laughs> they were telling me, tell him to get off your car. Like it's an episode of Fear Factor. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that, bro. I'm Asian, not confrontational. All right. Yeah, but um, but it, he had hair back then. 
Yeah, yeah. But I was more of a improv and laugh factory, so I didn't really hit the store like you know you're hitting it now, bro. Like yeah, but I don't hit the laugh factory or the improv really. No, no, that's weird. I don't know, and I'm not saying I won't do them. I, I, I mean, I do it sometimes. I'm doing the laugh factory this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, guys. West Covino Laugh Factory. <laughs> a little shameless plug right there. Is smooth. All right. <laughs> what are you thinking about, Tommy? I was just thinking about you're gonna go on stage Friday, five Saturday, times. Hey, look, homie, you're gonna go on stage five times in three days. Spoiled, <laughs> bro. Spoiled <laughs> to rap. <laughs> and if you don't sell any shirts or any vinyl, you ain't coming back, dog. I'm running the light. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm, I'm, that's what I think. Uh, like, I'm gonna stop trying need to a timer, worry huh? so much as a fucking time. You need a timer. No, I think I'll you. be looking at the clock and I'll be like, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. And it fucks with <laughs> that my fucking. That did help, though, that timer. Yeah. yeah. It's the best. He got off early, actually. Just two. That's, That's why I was like, up. I'm not going to fucking. I'm not going to do that last joke. You're like, yeah. huh. <laughs> 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 no, but yeah, it was cool. Gabriel has but a yeah, timer. Did he have a it's timer when you did his show? Times in the yeah. Ago, people like better now be ready. The, a lot of clubs, they do the timer shit now. Um, The comedy store, though, they don't. They got the light. Yeah, it, I love that dog. It's discipline, right? Right. You have to know that yourself professionally, right? You yeah, know. like come on, player. Once you see that thing, like they let you do three minutes, you know? Right. I mean, you could do whatever you want, dog. But I don't want to like. That's what I love about the comedy stores. Like fools will come in, and there's some fools that run the light. But hey, who am I to say shit? I'm just telling you, like mostly when I'm there, dog. Mostly eighty percent. Everybody does 15, 20 max, dog. Just to keep the go flowing, the show flowing, you know? Right, yeah. And that's that's cool, dog. But yeah, there's sometimes somebody will come in there with some, with some juice and be like, I'm going to drop 45 on these fools. <laughs> Sorry. Right. And it's just what it is, dog. When you have the juice, you can do that, right? Straight up. It's dog. the people that don't have juice and try to do that. That's when it's like, fuck, that's yeah, bad. That's that looks real bad. But, but when, when Tommy food, does it, that's a sad stuff. Yeah, he's not but when no fools do that, is that at the end or a fool could be like right before the other fool and he'll do fucking forty five? Yeah, minutes. yeah, the Dang. sweet spot. Yeah, like the sweet but spot. It's, is, it, is it like hey, it's kind of like a big dog move? Like hey, homie, check it out. I'm big. Fuck right. up. I'm on Saturday Night Live, fool. But right. it, that's for I'm in movies, dog. But that's for drop it or even a, Shaq hired me for his birthday, dog. Right. But but even if you have a fool, that's not the fool. That's a pop-in. like look, Dave Chappelle. But if a fool used to do it, but he would in the beginning, but he didn't do it to punk. He just did it to be like, hey, I'm here. I'm gonna go up. Like he has shit to do. Yeah, I understand. Oh, for a drop it. But if yeah. a fool takes longer, like that's in the lineup. Oh, dog, no, it's him. on. Even I'll, if he's a big dog, homie, I'll fucking. You're not. A, I'll, I'll sock like, hey, you. Fool, up. I'll be, sock up. Say you have like. You know, some it's like no, oh, that's a we good have- question. Check it out, Tommy. So if I'm on tour, say I'm doing the fucking Staples Center, the yeah. CryptoCom, and I tell George Lopez to open for me, I go, if we'll just do 30. And he does an hour. At 45 minutes, I'm walking out now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm walking out there, Damn. dog. Like, yeah. hey, come on, homie. You don't remember? <laughs> 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 yeah, he'd be like, hey, hey like, come You're- on, dog. Like, yeah. You but- know, that's just the whole respect shit. Like, Imagine if I did that to Edwin Dog and he's like, "If hey, we'll just do twenty, I'm up there for fucking an hour." What the fuck? Yeah, the, hey. unless I'm killing and I turn around and he's like, "Go," because that's what Edwin would do. He'd be like, "No, go, go." Like, some hey, fools are like, "Go, dog!" Like this is epic. Or some fools are like, "Hey, dog, get the fuck out." <laughs> he's like, "Hey, come on, no boy." No, I don't know, homie. We're all different, dog. I really don't like to talk about comedy and that bullshit because everyone's different. And then I'm giving away game right now. <laughs> you know, the eight. game is to be sold, not to be told. Hit me with the roller, Tommy. On tour one. Give us an on tour. No, no. Let, let, let's think of something. All right. He has the Chalino. He has the... Uh, what about... Mi vida the, fría. The, the Corrido of Colby. No, he doesn't need one yet. Okay. He's still you? resting, eh? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let the fuck rest yeah. in peace. Let us do We're still mourning, eh? All right, all right. We need a fucking sick ass corrido. Of, there's there's no corrido of Richie Valens either, huh? Nah. Damn. Or the corrido of Bob. Ooh, you should do that. No, just hey, he'll hey. be in. He'll be can, in. A, can I give us a he'll suggestion? be in a corrido, Richie. El corrido de los dos hermanos de Pacoima. 
Los hermanos de Pacas. Yeah. 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 There we go. Los hermanos de Pacas no son pelavacas, pero sabes que el Bob hace mucho caca. Fucked it up for everybody, huh? Nah, Bob. I did this to me, okay? Yeah. <laughs> it was just like fucking, hey, homie, it's a. Uh, who didn't know his fucking dad, eh? And he just, yeah, it, it was fucked up. But then it was kind of like the whole of just like, damn, dog. That selfishness that you're not taught. You know, it's kind of selfish to do the shit that he did. Yeah. But he I just, feel sorry for the, his, because he took Richie's girlfriend, right? Yeah. And then she started to live with him, like, or. Hey, is that, uh, like, is that true? In the, is that a true story, though? I don't know about that. Part. Like, in real life, did he take her from Richie? I mean, how good was he at the guitar to be losing pussy? <laughs> nah, hell nah. That fool was a Mac. Because, you know, Slash, ain't, ain't nobody took a bitch from Slash. <laughs> <laughs> right? Am I right? Am I right? You so, you fuck with Slash? Do, you ever been to hell, like a rock? Yeah. You never, did you go to any oh, rock man, concerts? I went to all that shit. Guns and Roses. You did? Pat, hell yeah, dog. Slayer. It's Orange County, homie. But, like, like, back in the day, did you? Yes. No. Uh, dude, Guns N' Roses was, like, the one. Yeah. Axel, his voice was still good, dog. His hair was long. It was pretty full. <laughs> like, you could tell he had, like, good conditioner and shit like that. That motherfucker came out hard, dog. He would come out with fucking leather pants on, dog, and some crazy boots, and a tank top, and a motherfucking Compton or a Raider hat, dog. Yeah? Yeah, because he loved <laughs> Easy e What about... uh? That uh, that's remember? pretty hard. Hold on, for let's think about this. Isn't that pretty hard for Axl Rose, the leader of Guns N' Roses, up there with a the fucking Compton Easy E hat? Right, that's white so as bad. can be. Yeah, yeah, that's tight. That's gangster, dog. No, it, uh, I remember seeing videos of Guns N' Roses. Yeah, yeah. It's, hey, dog, do you think Tom Brady, when he was quarterback, if he would have fucking went on stage, if like he would have done an interview? With the Chalino's chances, with the Chalino Sanchez sweater, dog. Yeah. The fuck if the raza would have been like, it would have went wild. What about you, Sinaloa? What about me? You didn't hear what I just said? But what I think about that, that'd be dope if you wore. You think Sanchez like the here. fans attract to it? You know, and then be, there'd be the haters too. That's a cartel leader. Yeah, but it'd be dope if Michael Jordan did it. That would be dope. Like if he came out with some like El Chapo Jordan, dog. Damn, Damn. he's one of us. Come on, dog. You know it'd be dope. It would sell out. Do Do that shit. (laughs) (laughs) Or like just a uh, Jordan fucking. Yeah, what Jordan should have came out? A Star Wars Jordan. No, the Why he's already take Edwin <laughs> shit, dog? I was gonna say for George, for Damn, fucking you can't Edwin in front of Edwin. That's it. That's dog. This one has every card. He has more Star Wars than the universe. I could also go with Marvel also. Hey, they spilled like, Wolverine they, they, fucking ones would be sick. They yeah. filmed, like they filmed some of hold Star on, Wars and Rich Chris. Jordans. Yeah, I mean Marvel, right? Wolverine. So you would you would do the Star Wars and you would do the Wolverine? Yeah, Marvel. But like what Marvel. what would be like the pattern? Like instead of elephant print, it'd be like razor print, like steel, Yeah, it's like you claws. cut something open. Yeah. Can, yeah. can I bust a Tommy? Go ahead. Mine would be blood in, blood out. Some blood and blood out dunks. Hell yeah. I'll have yeah. the fucking El Rays, the fucking Vicente Fernandez dunks. Okay. And then you could Damn, those are pretty hard. No, but yeah, the El Rays. Oh, George, but that's it. You would be like directive, creative director the, on the blood and blood out. Blood yeah. and blood out. Like, well, how would you design them? What's the color? What's the color way? On a fight's comb for like the, the black fools. Bonafide's comb. <laughs> and then for Mexicans, the mold that we use to kill them. <laughs> Damn, uh, the mold? Yeah. Up. And then, like, fucking on the white shoe, I have, like, striker throwing Miklo's shoe. Sh- <laughs> <laughs> A spear? Yeah. For pockets? Put your spear down, pocket! <laughs> Put your spear down! No, I don't. I mean, hey, dog, for reals, if you're making blood in, blood out, Jordan's dung. That'd be sick. What it has to be, the shoe would have to be like the the Jordan fours. Nice. And then it's it has to be an airbrush special shoe where it's like the pinos in there, the fucking uh, the cemetery stone, like a needle, and for like. (laughs) 
like a syringe needle. You know the little plastic thing at the end of the laces? It's fucking me. It's cursito in front of me. He's all, <laughs> bust me. <laughs> Do your job. <laughs> you know? Oh, fuck. Yeah. And then, like, uh, on the tongue, it'd be Popeye. <laughs> He's like, and his chonies. Yeah. <laughs> like the Air Jordan, but he's doing his fucking chonies. <laughs> yeah. His yeah, but that's not my shoe. What that's about a La Bamba shoe? That'd be pretty tight, no? I mean, hey, dog. Who would you go for then, George? For an artist? If you can pick like something, like if you got... The motherfucking Rick James, dog. Ooh. Yeah? Hell oh, yeah. Rick James. Rick James fours? Hell nah, the Rick James threses. Damn, nice. Damn. Guaranteed to fuck up your couch. <laughs> <laughs> fuck your couch. <laughs> you know what I mean? Those would be dope, though, huh? Those would be dope, fool. Oh, like white leather player. The funks. Damn. White leather, dog. And, like, the, the shoelace would be, like, his dreadlock style. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll, like, glitter in the condom. Little old beads. Old little, eggs. little beads at the end. Mm-hmm. And I never had no George. Instead of the dunk, it'd be him doing the slap. Oh, no. <laughs> that'd, be bad. that'd be bad. And I'd, do, I'd get the sugar freeze, dog. The sugar freeze. The sugar freeze ones? Hell yeah, dog. Guaranteed. I don't know. Speaking of sugar free, dog, it's going to sound weird as hell, but like sugar free right now is one of my favorite metaphorical satire <laughs> rapper that I relate to the most. He has the mind, like being in the strip club business, everything he says, I've witnessed and seen, gone through, and he just does it fucking beautiful, dog. And yeah, it's fucking, people might think it's vulgar and all that, but I'm just looking at the art of it, like, damn, that's real. That's real, dog. Like, that is real as it fucking gets, and this fool just made it funny and exciting and gameful. Yeah. Damn, this fool been there. That fool, he's sick, huh? And then that fool, uh, how he, uh, come on, come on, that freestyles and talks and all that shit. That's Everything that fool does, dog. He's like, he's he's a um, a philosopher of the street player. We gotta get him on here. <laughs> you interrupt that fool, he backhand you, dog. <laughs> he's like uh, three plates. Go <laughs> He's like, hey, go get me three wallets. <laughs> <laughs> what would your pimp player. name be? Oh, I, I don't know. It has to be something. It has like, to be tres platos. Yeah, three plates. Hey, this fool slaps bitches with plates. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, three plates. Three times, bitch. <laughs> Back in the day, the pimps used to dress all crazy for real, though. For real, yeah. yeah. And, and then they would drive fucking Rolls Royces. And uh, what about you, Edwin? What would your pimp name be? And maybe like fucking knuckles, or fingers. Yeah, fingers, fingers. Damn. Or the the you nip heard of fingers before? It ain't gonna be like no, it ain't gonna be like no Silky Johnson or like Silky San Juan or <laughs> damn no, Silky San Juan. Silky Silky San Juan. Silky Silky Juan. Juan. Oh, damn. Yo, hey Silky San Juan. No, I heard of Silk, right? Yeah. Uh, what happened with Silky San Juan when he was little? It, this fool was born in Taiwan, but he Filipino. <laughs> so like they put him in the shops. This fool's been sewing Levi since he was four weeks old. Blair. <laughs> and one day he just convinced the bitch to do it for him. Look at his hands. Now he broke them on purpose. Just <laughs> 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 hey, for, I've always wanted to do a pimp character like that. Yeah? Because to me, a pimp is fucking smooth hilariously fun- smooth. Yeah. And, and that's funny. Richard Pryor's gift, dog. Like, I'm not saying, like, I want to draw fucking uh, sex trafficking CEOs to my shows. Yeah. But, yo, if you're a pimp, come check my, my, my shit out. It's funny. Because <laughs> Richard Pryor had it, dog. It's just the life that I've been in, dog. Right. The, crazy, the, the strip club life. I'm Honestly, I think, I think I'm a union pimp. Like, I can't slap them. Like, you know what I mean? They got hours to check in. You know what I mean? I can't get their kids to burn them and shit to hurt their feelings and get them to stay. Because a pimp, dog, he'll, he'll manipulate you. He'll take everything from you and make it. And he'll make you feel like, damn, I need this fool. Yeah. These bitches know they can fire me. They, like, they, they can call my union ramp and give me a trouble. <laughs> yeah, I get that motherfucker. Huh, like, you can't be yelling at me in front of a customer for <laughs> <laughs> Now, nah, but hey, you know what? Something a stripper does, dog, and what? it's like the most hurtful shit. 
and you really can't do shit about it, especially a, a lot of the girls that tip me like a lot, they eat my lunch. They're like, hey, fool, check it out. I'm going to go do two half hours or you want me to go eat? Let me get your lunch, fool. I'm going to give you 50 from this. And you're like, yeah, this bitch just ate my lady's tuna sandwich. Man. <laughs> Damn, How do I go home and tell my lady? Hey, How was you, it? Hey, <laughs> you know what my name would be? Burr Slim, because I don't like ice. <laughs> Chill. Come on, dog. How would you dress, dog? Huh? Red and white. Red and white. And blue balls. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sick ass fool. You never said what your name would be. Oh, yeah. I didn't even get to it. I don't know. I don't know. I, I would just want these bitches to call me George. All right. I yell, George. <laughs> but I want them. I want them to say it like a Boston chick would say it. George, George, George. George? Hey, he's funny in the beginning, huh? And then later, he's gonna be doing like, yeah, he was nice in the beginning, man. Just take me to the store. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> got me out there on Fountain Beach Boulevard. I don't know, dog. Uh, it, it have to be just like. Uh, what car would you, you know have? what dog? How would you dress? When I was a tagger, my name was Store. That's store. weird. And now I'm a comedy store pay regular. I would just keep it like that, dog. I would just call myself Store. You heard of, you heard of the Yo man, what's up with the story? Like, baby, he have everything. That's why they call him the store. He got store on the way. You just gotta pay this motherfucker. That's crazy, fool. To get a hand to give you money for boning someone or doing something for him. She yeah. gives it to you, dog. Here, they out here trying to make this money. It always makes me think: Is he smarter or is she dumber? You know well, what I mean? Like sure. it's it's where they're coming from. A lot of them are already getting raped by their uncles or a family member or something, and they're just like, "Fuck!" Like I'd rather go get money for this than if this shit's really hurting and fucking me. Up. And that a hey, dog, that's sad shit it's that sad. that leads people out. Yeah, you're right. That's mo- like that. Someone has done fucked up things to these girls. That full, and I feel bad. that full fuck, that full fuck up the uncle. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's, he's that to me. He's protection. Yeah. yeah, like yeah. uh, fucking. Now um, he can hold that over her forever. Yeah, natural born killers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hey, uncle. Yeah, remember natural born killers? That movie is crazy. Yeah, Woody Harrelson killed that shit. Woody Harrelson, that was good. Like a lot of movies that Woody Harrelson is in, he they're good. Like they end up being good movies. I'm going to change my pimp name to, to Dame Feria. <laughs> Dame Feria. How would yeah. you dress? Um, since it's pimping, dog, I, I I would have to go to like the... Uh, Wait up. You're giving up the penalty? Listen, player. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The plushy penalty. I'm rocking like a fucking... Dame Tai, huh? I'm, I'm rocking like a Pendleton, Pendleton trench coat. All right. All Ooh. right. Ooh. Over my custom Pendleton suit that I make these Indians make for me. <laughs> it was uh, Santana's mom before she passed away. <laughs> <laughs> she used to work and she made a suit for Santana and she is all, you know. Well, I would be like, but like, you know how that like, baby powder? I, I would slap girls with tres flores in my hands. <laughs> but it slips yeah, right off. So they're just like, man, look how slick he is. <laughs> so it's like the shit out of me, and it didn't leave a bruise because it came off. Yeah. Smooth ass fool. Yeah. That's a crazy topic to be talking about. Well, how what come if- girls don't talk like that? Like, yeah. let's be honest. Hey, is there Mexican pimps? Yeah, but let's be honest, player. Like, why ain't girls, like, say a girl came up to us and was like, hey, Tommy, for I. <sighs> I'm in an Avon club, dog, and all these girls that we're talking about is they want to bone fools that look like you, so check it out. You're going to bone these highness, dog? I'm going to give you 80. I'll give you 100 bucks if you bone them, because for you, come on, dog, you know you want to bone. And she's charging them 1000 and keeping 900 Yeah. Would you do it? Just doing it. <laughs> Getting 80 bucks a bone? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, 80 bucks a bone? And a ride. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, uh, the fools... The fools that got the, the hookers and shit, like, they... Hold on, are, are you men- doing it? It's women, dog. Well, yeah, yeah. 10 times 80, that's 800, dog, for 10 people. Yeah, damn, I'll be off again. <laughs> you can bust, be tired. I'm tired about it. Hey, <laughs> hey, dog, I'm gonna, that's it. You can, no, bust, you, you can bust that in 48. <laughs> you can bust that in 48. 
You can yeah. bust 10, 10 nuts in 48. In 48? In two days. 48 hours. Two days. You can't bust 10 nuts in 48 hours? I can do it three days, eh? Yeah? Cause days? Just because, like... Come on, E. You enjoy the extra day at the hotel? No, I, I'm like a lowrider car. Like, you're going to fuck up the hydraulic switch better. I'm like, come on. I, I want to go to repair. At that point, are you taking like Cialis or something like that? Yeah, Dude, whatever. Taking, of course, yeah, dog. right. Yeah, you're doing heroin. You're fucking doing coke. You're living on the calle, Tommy. But the pimps, they don't give the girl none of the cut. No. Nothing. None. They none. have an allowance. That's it. Yeah. They don't have an allowance. Yeah, they do. just take them on. They, no, they just. They have everybody like hey, you no, most care of it is like look, you're taken care of out here. You know what I'm saying you go on, they you're feed going on them. trips. They feed you're them. Getting, you're eating. You yeah, know what I'm saying look, we have off days. You want to keep repeating what I say? You don't have no <laughs> off days, player. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy's like, hey, look at the hey, get vacation time. <laughs> you get an off day. You know what I'm saying we're going out. No, um, hey homie, it's hey dog. When I was at TJ's. And I used to work night shift. It would rain, dog. And the fucking, the prostitutes, they were hiding under the fucking drive through right there at the Taco Bell. And that, you know how it's like, a, there was nobody in the street. It was like one in the morning, dog. And I was out there, dog, smoking a fucking cigarette. And he's like, come here, look at this, dog. And the fucking pimp pulled up on the other side of the street. He was like, hey, y'all motherfucking bitches better get on the motherfucking stroll. Ten toes to that motherfucking sidewalk right now, bitch. In the rain, huh? In the rain, dog. And these bitches didn't have a jacket or nothing, dog. And, like, it was smart, fool, because, like, it was dark at night, and they're dark. So he had them, like, like a custom uh, cow transvest dress, dog. Like, <laughs> where you can see these hyenas, dog. Hey, this, hey, for the game is the game. That's crazy shit. That's a d- dangerous occupation, homie. Wasn't Snoop Dogg a pimp? Nah, not like. He yeah, he wasn't a real pimp. He didn't have no hyenas on the. Look, dog, a pimp means paper in my pocket. Doesn't mean I'm fucking you. Oh, I'm convincing you to go out there and give me this fucking money, or it gonna go down. What do pimps dress like now? Because they don't dress flashy now, right? They're well, more some undercover. places it matters where you're at. Like over here in Orange County, it's more younger fools and just it's gangster, it's thug. Right. We'll dress more like rappers now, you know? Right. But like, see the era of pimping when they're in the suits. That's what was in. Right. It was class. It's still classy, dog. Yeah, and they had Pimp of the Year awards yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, they have a player's ball. Legit, real. They, hey, dog, we, well, how come they don't have Baby Daddy of the Year award? Mm. Or Worst Baby Mama. Best Baby Mama. Shh. That would be good. Uh, worst this, Baby Mama. Uh, this Baby worst Mama didn't baby fuck mama. none of my homies. <laughs> <laughs> the best. And then, yeah, that would be cool. Xavier's the only one here that doesn't have a Baby Mama, dog. Nope. No Baby Mama. Damn, what happened? Nothing, dog. His I'm parents. Good. I pull out good. Good pull out game. Nah, if when he was little, his parents couldn't afford the good underwear. So that fool used to wear his sisters, eh? <laughs> and it, fuck fucked up the, it fucked up the, <laughs> the temperature. Circulation. Yeah, the temperature and the circulation are fucked balls. up. balls. And so I'm producing that. Hey, one of my homies, they cut off one of his nuts because he used to wear tight ass pants. He was like an emo rocker fool. Yeah. <laughs> yep. so they were like, he was like, "Hey man, I want these pants to fit again." Yeah, and he, <laughs> and yeah, for, uh, I don't, but he he had to get surgery. Sure, you didn't have ball cancer. No, Dick. They, he, it was from did. some he cut off circulation or some shit happened, but it was I guess from me. Why don't you just wear? For, remember the fucking the the Emo's? the emo fools? They used to wear tight ass pants, dog. Like they'll sew their fucking pants to be tight oh, with the belt. <sighs> You'd be like, "What the fuck? They're already tight, dog. Can't fucking fuck." I never had that problem. Small room and tight. <laughs> <laughs> do your balls, fuck you. You wear pretty tight pants. You wear like do you wear ball <laughs> balls? You wear tight pants. I wear bo- um, boxer underwear, so, like mixer, so yeah. hybrid. Yeah. The the boxer briefs. Yeah. Tommy's like, let me see you, man. I mean, Tommy, you look weird when you wear underwear. I seen you once. <laughs> Hey, hey, Tommy has that body of that dog, you know, that pug that stands up. <laughs> and they put the skinny jeans on. <laughs> Tommy has the body of, like, a fanny pack if you put legs on it. <laughs> like, it's big and then it points. You just put legs on the bottom, dog. Fuck it, homie. What's cracking, Edwin? Talk to us, dog. What else you got coming up, bro? You're going to be at the stand-up? 
Yeah, and Bellflower this Friday, right? This Friday? Like, yeah, and the there's 22nd? only like, Yeah, there's only like 20 tickets left. Probably like 10 now. Ten, oh, yeah, right? And then uh, I got the post in El Monte on April 26th. That's a Friday night. That's what's up. I yeah. might cruise through people, so, you know, if that's cool, dog. Yeah, bro, I'd love if to. You want to come you. see me for free? Just get the ticket from Aaron. You get to see both of us and shit, you know? And uh, what else you got coming up? Well, I got the show with you over at the store for April April first. Yes, right? April first, my birthday show. And then I got a couple of shows in Vegas. I got one in uh, Laughlin in April, and then in Vegas in May. That's what's so, up. And then X. I, uh, <coughs> what's up? Hit that like button. No, what shows do you got oh, coming just up? Yours. Go to uh, yeah. I wanted Friday. you to say that. I yeah, wanted you yeah, to say yeah. that. Covina. <laughs> hey, what about Tommy? This show we just added, and like George said, I'm wrapping off my car. You can also get a ticket from me on my DM, or if you got my number, text me. But you can get it, and I will raffle the car off here on Monday, next Monday. Tommy, go ahead, homie. He didn't give you an outro. What happened? Come on, we leave her alone. What? No. But hey, <laughs> we're gonna be uh, there on the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. In in uh, Covina, check it Are out. Are you selling any art? You still you tell me you got shirts. Yeah, I'm gonna have T-shirts right there. Make sure you guys stop by. Also, uh, on April 11th at Coco Bongo in Downey, I'm gonna have open, open mic, a little room where people could go and do open mic, and and uh, you guys can go and check out the open micers. That's what's up. Uh, I'm not gonna end it. Mm. Just letting people know what we're going to be doing. That's cool. Is that your first room now you're going to ever have? Like, you starting it up? It's like, it, yeah, well, they, it's like something they're trying to test out. Oh, okay. Because they have other shows and stuff there. They're so using they're you, dog. They know you're hot right now, so they're, they're going like, to use you. Try to get to Before me. you agree with anything, talk to me and Edwin. Right, yeah. Edwin? Yeah. Like, dude, See what they used about. us, dog. When I first met Edwin, we used to have a room called Patio, dog, in Orange. Yeah. There was at least four to 500 people there paying 20 bucks to get in. And they would get this full two hundred and me one hundred and Jeff like two hundred. And you'd be like, yeah, the motherfucker yeah. making like not even knowing, huh? Yeah. And then how much money they made on alcohol and yeah, stuff like and that. Then you, and then it was weekly, bonus. it was yeah, popping weekly, every week. Dog. Fuck. Yeah. This fool had rooms like that all day. Yeah, we had about maybe eight of them at the one point, yeah, right? Dog, we were getting robbed. Yeah. But it was a learning experience that we learned. I don't want to learn that shit ever again. <laughs> like we should have learned on that like the first year or two, dog. Or right, you just should have been like, you know what? Fuck this shit. You want to see us, homie? It's twenty bucks. Right, and I think we would have got it. Yeah, and we would have had deals with the club, right? We would have yeah, had, fuck yeah. the club. We'll, we'll we'll go run it somewhere else. Right, I don't know. And then when when you do those shows, uh, like, uh, why do people still do rooms like that and shit? Yeah, bro. Homie, hell yeah. I still do it like that sometimes. I'll rent a place out and do a show there. Fuck, I don't ever hear about people having like shit like that. Wow, everybody. Tommy's first time not knowing something. No, this just is saying. a proud no, moment like, brought to you guys. Tommy's I'm like, interrupting never, his like, own oh, this award. This has a room right here where folks can go and do Right now, mics. it's the Tommy Award. Tommy's still interrupting his own award. The first time. <laughs> you know what? That's another award, dog. <laughs> you, 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 <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> that, you got the most interrupts, dog, ever, dog. Go ahead, Tommy. She's gonna be on Guinness. Yeah, they hit me up. What they do for beer? I just want to see what's up. How many fucking interruptions in one fucking huh, show? They're like, hey, full, check it out. <sighs> We're gonna patch you in right now to ISIS. We need you to interrupt the meeting. Okay, just start talking. Hey, who is this? <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, do, do fools get money for beating the record on Guinness? Because I'm sure, <laughs> like, know. fool, there's some fools that I'm sure they do all this shit to be on Guinness. Like, uh, and do you get money from it? Like, oh, you're on Guinness for a record. You're a record holder here. So they give you like a million dollars or something? I don't think you get money, but you get the bragging rights. And then if people want to like, maybe you could put you on a commercial or something yeah. like that or advertisement or something like that. This is the person that holds the record for this. Or yeah. You're going to be like, for like um, are you sick of people interrupting you? Telemarketers? This guy, Tommy, he can't even interrupt you with our new service. <laughs> That's side, huh? To be on Guinness. You would have been a good telemarketer, dog. The fucking reading the script and doing that shit? I the fools that be calling you and saying shit? Hi. This is Town Something Resorts. I'm just giving you guys a call because uh, 
You filled out our giveaway for me. You know what? You have a chance to win a Mustang. But check, everything has a catch. All right, look at this is our catch. You got a chance to win a Mustang, and we're also going to give you this giveaway to Hawaii. It's eight days. I'm being honest with you. You have to call a year before. You're, and then they're like, I go, you know, and I just be like, check it out, dude. This is how I get paid. I get paid off you showing up and listening to a timeshare interview. They're gonna, just going to try to sell you timeshare. Look, I sent my dad because I, I, sent, I sent everybody with fake IDs. I send people there, and they just want to try to sell you some. Get the Hawaii trip. I prefer the record player. It lasts long. And just, you got for, for 45 minutes. And then they would be like, hey, fuck it, I'm going to show up, eh? So the other fool's like, you have, like, the line and shit, you know what I mean? No one's going to talk to you. Yeah, I'm like, hey, can I call now? Can I still go? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Try to go no, to Hawaii. It was Pacific Monarch Resorts, dog. Yeah. That was, How long did you do that for? That was my first job ever, dog. Uh-huh. I was a fucking, and then they made me a team leader, dog, where I was teaching other fools how to do the deals. Because, like, when you when you get a, a lead like that, you transfer to the other fool that locks it in. Yeah. Gives all the details out. Make sure no shit like lies. But, yeah. All right, everybody. I want to thank Edwin San Juan for rolling through, dog. Thank you very much for having me, man. I appreciate it. It's going to be a lot more, dog. You're back down over here. Yes, uh, sir. Three plates. Uh, thanks for fucking breaking the interruption title today, but cool. <laughs> X to the G was very professional to guys, and he also had a great fucking set. Yeah. In Bakersfield, dog. He, he he was proud, eh? Oh, yeah, I got off. I was he like, he was like, like, what's up, Tommy? <laughs> like, <laughs> Tommy. <laughs> All right. Lucky you don't got to go after me, dog. Dog was trying to headbutt me. Like, <laughs> you a fucking movie, dog? <laughs> don't forget, guys, this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I'm at the West Covina or Covina Laugh Factory. Uh, everything's at low ticket warning except for Sunday. So if you don't want to w- worry about it, get a ticket on Sunday, fellas. I get paid the same. Uh, blah, 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 blah. April 1st, I'm at the Comedy Store, my birthday show, me, Be Real from Cypress Hill, Edwin, and the Mystery Lineup. And when I say mystery, homie, I say Mr. E and uh, uh-huh. no, not that one. Oh. <laughs> it's going to be some straight comedian fire coming out. Be real, dog. He's going to come on stage. Is he going to rap, tell a joke, or do magic? I'm going to be right <laughs> there working out. how to roll a blunt. I'm going to be right there working out my Mommy, you're interrupting my right. outro, dog. I'm trying to end the fucking show. <laughs> this is George Perez, George Perez Stories, episode 352. Don't forget about the raffle. No, for May XG. 4th. May 4th. I'm at the Michilala Fest. I'm hosting, guys. It's going down with the voodoo. At the voodoo. La- what is it? The uh, Los Angeles. No, the voodoo Los- glow skulls are going to be oh, there. Oh, voodoo dog. glow skulls are going to be there. Look, the paranoias are going to be there. I'm going to be one of the judges, judging the Micheladas. And, he, and, the, the and he asked me for a wrist. Kentucky, and, he, and the Kentucky Derby hat. All right. She got to be looking like she's All right, this is George Press Stories, Derby. episode 352. Take a shower, brown power. Late. What's up, my boy? From that city with juice, ain't no pity or troops. It's when we dip in gun smoke's conclusive. Don't act clueless, hella foolish in the 90s. And GP shotgun, when we ride. Solid on the yard, name hard on these streets. Did my crimes, gangster rhymes on dope beats. Still fuck laws, ain't no pause in our demeanor. Rest in peace, Muggsy and my road dog creeper. Ways to put it down, no fear of new cases. Years ago, though, it was guns and chases. 714 on my shoulders, kept it active. Roll like soldiers, G-code ain't passive. Still Mac and Rack, still packed at the waist. Still stacking racks, still flash from the hate. Now it's podcasts and videos with pretty hoes. Me and George banging orange till the city's known really though. OG Wayne. We keep it moving smooth like every day. In this industry,
let me get a selfie Big stop, she beat some real G's Side dick is the general of an army Egg she podcasting in the morning Don't say F.A. here's your warning That other bullshit be boring With some goofy ass question that's corny Tommy let me finish my story Shooting shots, game six, rubber ring. Smoking blunts in the bus while I'm touring Now welcome to George Perez Stories Gucci Wayne we keep it moving smooth like every day. They take a look at the home and we don't go. It's going down for sure, for sure. Real G's in this industry. So